Welcome again to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafi and coming up we will be disintegrating Glasson Awako's issues with Great Olympics and Accra Hearts of Folk and we'll also be telling you about the Ghana Football Association because they have paid clubs who won titles in the just ended football season. We'll also be talking about Kumasi Asante Kotoko because they are set for a trip to Dubai for pre-season and fans have been invited to join that trip. All this and more coming up as Kumasi Asante Kotoko have also named new captains for their team. So do want to subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. Let's start off from the camp of the Ghana Football Association because they have paid clubs who won titles in the just ended football season and a crowd of folk earned 330,000 cities for winning both the MTN FA Cup and the Ghana Premier League. A crowd of folk earned 80,000 for winning the MTN FA Cup and 250,000 for winning the Ghana Premier League. Kumasi Asante Kotoko also received 150,000 cities for placing second in the Ghana Premier League as Wafa also bagged a whooping 80,000 cities for placing third in the Ghana Premier League. Hazakes ladies also received 50,000 for winning the Women's Premier League and another 10,000 for winning the Women's FA Cup. The three newly promoted teams into the Ghana Premier League, RTU, Accra Lions and BBN Gold Stars also received 50,000 cities each for winning their respective zones in the Division 1 League. Yes, so that's about that, about GFA paying clubs. That money was paid on Wednesday and it hits the account of the Ghana Premier League team. So let's do more now and talk about Kumasi Asante Kotoko because Abdo Ismail Ganiu, their defender, have signed a contract extension that's two years despite receiving offers from abroad. The player decided to stay with the Reds for another two seasons before trying to get a move abroad. Abdo Ganiu has been a consistent member of the Ghana Black Stars team but unfortunately this time he couldn't get um, a placement in the squad as he was uh, not included in the squad that was pruned down. Well, good news is that Abdo Ismail Ganiu is now the captain of Kumasi Asante Kotoko after three of the captains of the Porcupine Warriors all left the club. That's Emmanuel Jainfi and Felix Annan, who were the captains of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. In their absence, though, in their absence, though, Ismail Ganiu is now the head captain of Kumasi Asante Kotoko and will be deputized by goalkeeper Razak Abalora and midfielder Mudasiru Salifu. These are the captains of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. I mentioned them again. Abdul Ismail Ganiu is now the head captain of Kumasi Asante Kotoko and in his absence, Razak Abalora will be the second captain and Mudasiru Salifu is the third vice captain of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. So that's about Kumasi Asante Kotoko there. But they will be traveling to Dubai for their preseason where they will be playing some few matches. And this is the first time Kumasi Asante Kotoko are going to Dubai for a preseason in so many years after making a trip abroad for a preseason, I think, some years ago. But now under the watch of Ganaya Aposa, the Porcupine Warriors are going to Dubai for their preseason and will be playing against clubs in Dubai and they've invited fans to join the trip to Dubai and it will cost fans $1,400 to join the team to Dubai and that would include accommodation, opportunity to watch live matches and all that. So if you are a Porcupine Warrior out there, this is an opportunity to come close to the team and join the team as they make the trip to Dubai. I always see people go to Dubai and they go there for trips and um, relaxation and for uh, tourist attraction and all that. You can get all this and more but with Kumasi Asante Kotoko you can watch live matches as well. Now let's talk about Glassen Awako before we leave here. So. So now let's talk about Glassen Awaku before we leave because he has been in the news in the last couple of days. So um, Great o Olympics uh, chairman or board chairman Oluboy Commodore says that Glassen Awaku is no more the player of Accra Hatsufu because 
a class of hope failed to pay their um, second um, installment of the deal on time. So, Glasson Awako joined a class of hope for an undisclosed amount. See, this is the issue when the players join another club, they don't mention that amount. Too. But when there's issue of contract breach, that's when they come into the media and they dirty themselves and name all kind of things. So Oluboy Commodore says that the first tranche was paid in I think September 12th and the last tranche which they were expecting that about October 2nd did not come through and hence a crowd of folk has to release the player that last Nawaku and return to Great Olympics. The interesting bit of it all is that Glasson Awako's contract with Great Olympics expires on October 22. By that time, the Ghana Premier League has not even started. So how are we going to even sign the player again? And the Ghana Premier League is supposed to start October 29. And you give a player to a crowd of folk, within next month, you are expecting them to pay the money. Well, a crowd of folk receives an amount of money from the GFA so they can use that money to pay um, Glassina Wako's um, <laughs> transfer move from uh, Great Olympics to a crowd of folks. So, so remember the whole Buha that there was time that there was a story, there was some allegations that a crowd of folk wanted Glassina Wako to return back to uh, Great Olympics because the player was not willing to play for the phobians. But Great Olympics came to tweet that goods sold are not returnable and that they are demanding their second installment of the transfer deal and Oduboy uh, Commodore says that the player has to return to the account because out of folk are not paying the money well the good news is that Glasson Awako is staying at a crowd of folk and his agent Chipsa has confirmed this and he is happy that a crowd of folk are being patient in all this and they've not released a statement to even clarify or to even explain what is going on because Oluboy Commodore is just making a whole buzz of nothing and a crowd of folk are very patient when it comes to handling players that's according to Chief Star, that's the agent of Glassin Awako so according to him Glassin Awako will be starting training with their phobians in the next two weeks as they prepare for the Ghana Premier League which kicks off on October 29th and they are a competition or their campaign in the CAF Champions League as well. So that will be it for today's edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adama Fio. As usual, subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. Peace out.